Hello and welcome to Machinist Guide. In this video I'm going to show you how to remove your drill chuck from a machine tool that uses a Morse taper as a mounting device. Now this particular drill press uses a number three Morse taper. And I'm going to show you how to remove your chuck and what you'll need is a drill. This is a small little piece of bar stock. They come in different sizes for different sizes of Morse tapers. Now they have a taper on the end of them. This is what does the work. And I'll show you right here how you use this to remove your drill chuck. I'm going to bring my quill down. And in the quill, let me lock this in the down position. There we go. In the quill you'll notice a slot. So if you'll look inside your slot you can see the spindle and you can see it move as you turn it. You turn the spindle and it also has a slot. When you get these two slots lined up, you take your drift with a taper down and insert it in that slot. Now, with a hammer, you gently tap. Notice I said tap. You don't hit it or beat it. You tap it. You hold your chuck because when you tap it, the chuck's going to fall free. So I hold my chuck and tap it. Okay. Remove my drift. Now I'm going to have to let my quill go back up so I can get my drill chuck out of it here. Let me unlock my quill. Okay, now we have removed the drill chuck. Now I'm going to show you how you put it back. There's one thing before I do that I want to explain to you. This taper, there's a very, this is a very precision taper, taper. It's called a Morse taper. You also have that Morse taper in the spindle of your machine tool. It's very important you keep these tapers clean. You keep them clean. If they get a little nick in them, take you a stone and rub it down. They, they need to stay clean and smooth in order to work properly. Now to reinstall this, you look on the end of it, there's a flat place right here. We call this a tang. T-A-N-G, a tang. Now up inside your spindle, there's a slot that will accommodate this tang. You push it up in here and you turn it, you put a little bit of pressure on it and you turn it until you feel that tang fall into the slot. Right there it went. Now, I drop it down about an inch and just give it a little bit of a jabbing motion to stick it up in there. Alright, now she's sort of right now semi-locked. It's not ready to drill, but it's in there pretty good. Now to give it one little extra kick here, I usually use a piece of wood, but there's a piece of aluminum sitting here, but... We'll put a piece of aluminum here. You use a softer material so you won't damage your chuck. And you never do this with your chuck jaws hanging down. You always move your chuck up, at, chuck jaws up in the body. So you'll hit on your face of your drill chuck. You move this down onto the softer material. It can be aluminum, wood, hard piece of plastic. And you give it two or three good jabs. And what you're doing, you're forcing these two, two tapers right here together. Which forms a locking device and that is the way you remove and install a drill chuck I've heard hope that you picked up a little tip here look around my site click around I've got uh, all kinds of tips and tricks I've got some free charts I've got a little chat room if you want to do a little chatting you can submit a suggestion if you got any tips you want to share just let us know and I'll post them for you I appreciate you looking around and I appreciate you coming back so bookmark us and I'll look for you again thank you very much